You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's all. Chow is such a strict teacher. You're neither an adeptus nor a human, always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Yes. I'm ready. Schedule. Born of ice and frost. Completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> Another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor? So even here there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Oh, oh heavens! Blessed be Rex Lapis! I've finally come upon the Adepti! Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, great! My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O Adepti. I beg of you, please, 
Grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. Oh, so it's a pilgrim. I am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted. Uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow, straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every Pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who poses an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Ugh, how dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the adepti yourself. Mm, he might sorta have a point. We did come here looking for Ganyu after all. Ugh, enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real adeptus or not. You're useless. I'm leaving. Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Kanyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh, it's not his behavior. The things he said... He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... <sighs> but... I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. As an Adeptus, I... It's true! Just believe us! Uh, alright. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. It's a step in the right direction! Let's go! <laughs> you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right. Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. The sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Ganyu, you didn't leave Liyue for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Huh, that's true. Ganyu seemed to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. It put me in a certain mood, similar to the one I felt during my training in Juyun Karst, in fact. Why, isn't it Little Miss Ganyu? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. This old man called her Little Miss Ganyu. Uh, please don't also start calling me that. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tien. He is... That's all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Leo, after all, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tien is a member of the Leo at Chising, the Tianshu. What? This grandpa is a member of the Chising? The same rank as Ningguang? 
Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. In most people's eyes, I'm just a forgetful and wordy old man. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. <laughs> oh, little Miss Ganyu. Your kind words make me feel that my decades of hard work haven't been in vain. Uncle Tian, a person of your standing should really stop calling me Little Miss Ganyu. Oh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a childhood habit of mine. Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the Chi Sing secretary. It's nothing worthy of your gratitude. Talking about secretaries... Oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huixin? She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Yes, she works at Yuahai Pavilion and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, she's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. May I trouble you to meet her at UAI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? Let's move then to UAI Pavilion. Miss Ganyu, it's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating a little? I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Abusing his status as a member of the Chi Sing to trouble you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yuahai Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. So, what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. All right. Uh, let's approach it this way, then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Miss Ganyu. Exactly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Bolai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please. Aha! We meet again, traveler. And you must be from the Yuhai Pavilion? <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. 
Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yua High Pavilion. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. What? Second Life? Ugh. That rascal Dongsheng. He's stealing all of my customers. Well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. Ha <laughs> ha oh, Hmm. Tax records? Ha. <laughs> Thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course. Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. Well then, please look over this tax record. We'll review Second Life's credit based on your observations. Oh, of course. I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. Ah, here I found it. That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fan Mu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. I hope so. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. It's all right, Weixin. You can stay in Liyua Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest to us. Ah, oh, that's... So considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. <laughs>